In this video, we're going to look at the equations of constant acceleration. We call them the SUVAT equations because the variables involved are S, U, V, A and T. So they spell SUVAT. S is displacement, which we measure in meters. You might see distance written instead of displacement. Displacement is the vector version of distance. So displacement is distance with a direction. U is the initial velocity, which we measure in meters per second. Again, you might see speed written instead of velocity. Speed is velocity without a direction, or velocity is speed with a direction. So velocity is the vector version of speed. Displacement is the vector version of distance. V is the final velocity, also in meters per second. A is the acceleration, which is in meters per second per second, or meters per second squared. And T is time measured in seconds. There are five equations of constant acceleration. We've got S equals U plus V over 2 times T, or S equals half U plus V times T. V equals U plus A T. V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. S equals U T plus half A T squared. And S equals V T minus half A T squared. So depending on what we want to work out and what information we're given, we're going to use the diff different equations. So here's a question. A particle is traveling in a straight line with a constant acceleration of five meters per second squared. At t is zero, so at the start, the particle has a speed of three meters per second. So we write down what we know. And we know acceleration is 5. At t is 0, the speed is 3. So that's initial velocity. What is the speed when the particle of the particle when t is 4? So when t is 4, what is the speed? So that's the final velocity. So we want to pick an equation from here. And we want an equation with u, v, a, and t in it. So we want an equation without s in it. So which equation does not have s in it? We're going to use v equals u plus a, t. And we're just substituting what we know. So we're working out v. u is 3. a is 5. t is 4. So V equals 3 plus 5 fours, 3 plus 20, 23 meters per second. What distance has the particle traveled? So we're working out displacement now, we're working out S. We can use any of the equations because we know all the information now. If we pretend that we haven't done part A, we're going to have to use an equation without V in it. So that will be s equals ut plus half a t squared. You could use any of the equations now and you should get the same answer. Because we know all the information now. So let's substitute into here s equals ut three fours plus half five times 4 squared. So that's 12. And 4 squared is 16. Half of that is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. So S is 52 meters. And you could have done any of the equations and you should have got the same answer. Okay, here's another question. So See if you can fill out the information. So pause the video, try and fill it out. And then if you can carry on with the question, do so. If not, just keep watching. 
So a train is moving along a straight track with a speed of 30 meters per second. When it reaches point A, the driver applies the brakes and the train decelerates at a constant speed. So decelerates is the same as acceleration, but negative at a constant speed until it comes to a stop 150 meters from A. So what do we know? U is 30. That's the initial speed, the initial velocity. And the distance, the displacement was 150. And it came to a stop. So that means the final velocity is zero. What was the deceleration? So we're working out A. So we're looking for an equation without T in it or the equation with S, U, V, and A in it. So that equation is V squared equals U squared plus two A, S. So we wanted the equation with S, U, V, and A in it, which is V squared equals U squared plus two A, S. So substituting what we know, we've got zero squared, which is zero, equals 30 squared plus 2 a 150 so 0 equals 900 plus 300 a if we take 900 off both sides so negative 900 equals 300 a divide by 300 a is negative 3 meters per second squared so the deceleration is three meters per second squared. Okay, how long did it take for the train to come to rest? So what's the time? So if we pretend we haven't worked out part A, again, you could use any of the equations now because you know all of the information. But if we pretend we didn't know A, we'd have to use the equation without A in it, which is S equals half u plus v times t so if we substitute in what we know so 150 equals half u plus v so 30 times t so 150 equals 15 t divide both sides by 15 t is 10 seconds Okay, here's another equation, another question. So again, read the question. See if you can fill out the information here and work out what equation we're using. If you can carry on with the whole question, pause the video and do that. Otherwise, just keep watching. So a particle is traveling in a straight line with a constant acceleration of five. So A is five. When T equals eight, the particle has traveled 200 meters. So there's the information we should have. What was the particle's velocity at t equals zero? So it's asking for the initial, initial velocity. So which equation are we using? The one without v in it. So which one doesn't have v in it? We've got s equals ut plus half a t squared. So substituting what we know, 200 equals ut, we don't know u, so 8u plus half times 5 times 8 squared. So 200 equals 8u, 8 squared is 64, half of that is 32, 32 times 5 is 160. So taking 160 off both sides, 40 equals 8u. So u is 5 meters per second. Okay, part B here. What would the particle's velocity be at t equals 10? We can no longer use this information because t is no longer 8, which would mean the distance is no longer 200. 
So let's change it. So what do we know? A is still 5. It's got a constant acceleration. T is 10 now. And the initial was 5. The initial velocity was 5. So we're working out V. So which equation doesn't have S in it? V equals U plus AT. So V equals 5 plus 5 tens, 5 plus 50, 55 meters per second. Okay, another question. So pause the video, see if you could write down all the information, identify the question and answer it. So try and do the whole thing. If you get stuck, just press play again. If you want to check your answer, just press play again and I will go through it. So we've got speed of six meters per second initially. Passes point B 30 seconds later, so T is 30. And the distance, so the displacement, is 945. What was the acceleration? So we want the equation without V in it, which is S equals UT plus half AT squared. 945 equals six thirties plus half a thirty squared. So nine four five equals a hundred and eighty plus thirty squared is nine hundred. Half of that is four fifty. So four fifty a. So you take one eighty off both sides. That's seven six five. So 765 equals 450A, divide by 450, divide both sides by 450, so A is 1.7 metres per second squared. At what speed did the cyclist reach B? So we could use any of the equations now. Um, SDV equals U plus AT, it would be the quickest one it's already v equals so u is 6 plus 1.7 thirties so 6 plus 51 is 57 meters per second it's a fast cyclist